Okay, so disclaimer, I don't know anything about drugs. <laughs> I don't know any drug dealers. I know. I just want to talk about witchcraft. The sound for views and opinions expressed on the radio program by the guests, advertisers, news bulletins, call in listeners, or chatters are solely the views and opinions of the source who express them. They do not necessarily reflect the opinions and the views of Trusco Group International, the broadcast regulators in Namibia, or that of the Informante radio station. This is Informante Radio. Every day is the number it's a outrageous conversations. <laughs> Did you know I get no amber it's gesit? So are you saying Namibian men were not romantic? That's exactly what I'm saying. Huh? Yes. Why? What are the values of Namibian men? Is there anything good about us? Yeah, I'm striking a blank. <laughs> she is striking a blank. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the real thing. The mornings on Infomante Radio. The sound for a new age. <laughs> 821 on uh, a Thursday morning. Yesterday actually is Thursday, unlike yesterday when I guess we were preempting. Goeiemorgen. Okay, I I was the one who was wrong. Goeiemorgen. How's it, Maria? Very. Can you tell Neville to take his seat? How, how's the day after your birthday? Ach, it's normal. Is it? Are you still getting uh, belated birthday wishes coming in? I got some this morning. I <laughs> Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Maria. How's it? It's what, what called what? yoga. What is, what is this? Is yoga. It's it yoga. Yes. I've never seen, seen this position in yoga in my own life. This, man, this is an illegal move. I hope you guys cannot see what level is looking at on the screen. I think usually that move is the one, it's called the sun. So you're supposed to do it naked. The sun. You're supposed to do it naked in the sun. And then you lift your legs. And then you're supposed to let the rays of the sun hit you. It's supposed to create a natural balance in your body. So basically, your a hole has to get some sun. So the sun hits you from. Yes, yes, basically. Yes. You guys, see, this is seriously how you're gonna start my Thursday morning. Never, yay, as hard as. Sun sanitation. <laughs> what is sun? What about? I don't know. There's, there's a name. In, in good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Maria was trying to explain something here. Why are you interrupting her? Ha, 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 ha. Me, like to, we, we're not going to have a PG-27 show today. <laughs> me, me, <Anke. laughs> morning, guys. Morning. Moro, moro. Uh, how's, how's the morning so far? How's, uh, like, uh, is it as cold as it was yesterday down in Alisenheim? I remarkably slept well last night. I normally sleep three, four hours a night. But six hours is good for me. That's not the question. No, that's how's my answer. Weather? That's my answer. Oh, so it, then the weather was good. That's it slept well. my point of reference. <laughs> <laughs> it was three degrees again this morning when I left home. Oh. It's, it's, cold. It's, my cold. it's like today feels a bit better than yesterday. Though. Mm. Or is it just me? It's just you. No, yesterday I was wearing like two jerseys and I was getting colder than I am getting today. So, I don't know. Of my skin that I evolve. <laughs> my body is used to the cold now. <laughs> and mind you, my daughter reminded me this morning, it's not even winter yet, it's autumn. Come she on. Sa- yes. she, said, she said winter is next month. So it's going to get colder <laughs> because this is supposed to be autumn. Hello, we don't have, we only have two seasons That's what I told her. in Africa. That's what I told her, but she mm. said me, she corrected I'm autumn. me. Our spring lasts for like about a week here. That's spring weather and then after that, as thousands we are deep in the summer. So Maria, um, <coughs> did you get the flowers that I sent you yesterday afternoon? That's a bloomer. <laughs> don't even. I'm actually irritated that I didn't get any flowers. So I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. I'm traumatized. Okay? Listen, <laughs> Maria was I'm pissed off. You people are just calling me to wish me happy birthday. Nobody's sending flowers. Stop calling me. <laughs> 
because you live. Gonna talk about it. <laughs> Come on, you know what? We have a, a tradition here at Trusco. You know, if it's your birthday, you get the half day off. And then, I mean, you know what, Maria? We saw you leaving here like one I o'clock or whatever. And, and, okay. And I left three o'clock. You have the afternoon off, so. Yeah. Good as it. So it was just a normal. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. It must be so nice to sleep next to a wife every day, man. Huh? That you can come no. here and in all your your, no. your self entitlement. No, Maria, come and make fun of me. I swear, it's not always nice. <laughs> I'm telling you, when there is a fight, you you look. But what did I think of marrying you? Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you. I think. Can you attest? Or you guys just trying to make me feel nice? Do I, I like why? What did I think of marrying you? Yeah, when you're married. Uh, like I've had some of those moments. Yes. <laughs> hey, two weeks ago, Maria, two weeks ago, and and I always say, you know, me and my wife, we, in a period of twelve months, we have like two major fights in the year. Yeah. Two. I don't know about what, but there will be two major <laughs> fights, and for a week we were not gonna really talk to each other. <laughs> and it's like she's colored, so she's Arab. Yeah. Now you want to talk and clear this thing up. Mm. It goes in the way. More. <laughs> and they just ignore you. Are you trying to work things out? Can, Maria, mm, can we talk about this? Talk about what? Talk about what? <laughs> are you going to say you are sorry? <laughs> 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 then there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Come on, my, my wife. She my wife told me, um, "Yes, you are right. I don't know what to do now." He, the guy said the so text message ne- to his friend. My, my wife said, "You are right. I don't know what to do next." I've never seen. I've never heard those words coming she out of her mouth. Yes, you are right. What is my next move? What? what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I must don't. tell you, then, yeah, if things are normal, Maria, then listen. Jokes aside. Maria, you need to get somebody you grow old with, as a belief. It's also a mark. Yeah. It's in the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Ne? It's in the pipeline. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's F-boy good. Hmm? Like they're all going for these F-boys these days. I don't what? Know. F-boys? Big <laughs> boys. No, not me. Not, not look. What boys? I Firstly, never. Do we need to explain to everything to you? I'm 35. F. Oh, F-boys. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm 35. Well, Do you really yeah, think yeah. I'm going to go for F-boys? I don't know. Apparently, ah, ap- apparent, yeah, ap- apparently, they can Oats. keep they can keep you busy the whole night. We Oats. don't have that Oats. energy anymore. Yeah, and then what then? I don't know. Ask Maria. Why are you asking me? I, I know. <laughs> we all have gone through the F boy F girl stage. No, there, there's there. no F girl. Only F boy. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't come with stories. Or oh, F buddy. Sorry. No, no. Ah, come on, Maria. Ek-viet. No, but it doesn't mean a, a screw partner. I know what we're talking about here. Okay, it's a lifestyle. F- I know. F- like, but uh, now what if I'm a guy and I want a... a F-boy. No, no not <laughs> F-boy. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't... Uh, he seems to think an F-boy is a... Is a you go through a space where you're just... Yeah. Okay, l- you know, the, like, you can equate it almost to like a slave queen. Let's put it that way. I understand. Yes. So, so the F boy, the term, the term F boy. Yes. You can't. It's there, not. There's no gender. You can't. Yeah. It's it's only for yeah. for boys. Yes. You can't say F girl. No. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now, what do you call a girl then? If I'm if okay, so we just call them side chick or what? I, I, yeah. Or hocha. Yeah, oh, see, I just want to be the good and learn by the now. have to be a side chick though. It's 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 a it's a mannerism of a f boy like where he's just he doesn't treat you right he disrespects you he lies to you he gaslights you he you know he ghosts you he leaves you on blue tick you know <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm sure it's stressful over there by the f boys but I wouldn't know it's those ones like where you at no just you are <laughs> let me text him <laughs> <laughs> You're 35 years old now. I don't you need to date a guy my age, 50. Oh, hell no. 50 plus. Ah, ah. Jay can pray so she will. We don't care. You know what? I'm actually, to be honest, I'm actually at an age where I don't even mind, like, 
a year or two younger than you. That's you go back to F boy territory. In fact, that's my preference. No, 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 no. No, that's actually a good preference for me. That's a good reference because I got a lot of energy, you know. So you need to. Like you what, what, what you that see, that's that, that's how this whole F boy thing came up. Dan, 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 classic. Ne? We then don't have the energy to keep up with Mary anyway. <laughs> But I, but I will say this. <laughs> but I will say this. For whatever reason, since 32, mm. since 32, 33, like I would say like 95, really, it might even be higher. 95% of or more of the men interested in me are younger. I don't know. I, I just don't think older men are attracted to me. You've no, got that glow. You intimidate older men. You need to chill. Actually, they should be able to like handle. Hmm? You know what I mean? Older, I would think. My strong woman needs a strong man. <laughs> Comma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you we need to come show your strength also. We, we, we want them go. tame. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And but also, but also understand the older men are also going for girls in their 20s. So it's like, that's why they're not looking at me. It's like, it's the old scafe. They're going in the 20s um, like mid what's what's 20s. what's what's new on the market <laughs> what's but, new on the market yeah. but but i think that the reason why older men would go for that young mm-hmm. it's for is, control. is is for control it's you are control. so right it's control, yeah. it's control. intimidation was that's what it came it's down to. Mm. i have the money yeah, yes. i can control it's you power dynamics which comes with control as exactly well. so yeah. marie 35 you mm. Too opinionated mm. and yeah. Too set in our ways. Why? Why are you asking yeah. me these things? Yes. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? And exal me. <laughs> exal me. Okay, Go no. prepare me, Sam. Exal me. <laughs> you know. Anyway. On yeah. to more relevant information. Mm. Oh yeah, we've got other things to talk about. I completely forgot. When was the last time you wore a suit? A suit like Does a full suit. A suit is a you, oh, thank you. Do you own a suit? Yes, I own two. <laughs> you own two. Okay. So the last time I wore a suit, I think, was at the top forty event. Ne? That was also pretty much against my will. If it was up to me, I would have. And did you wear them with all stars? No, QZ wore, no. wore them with all stars. That's that's QZ's look. You know. Yeah. So do you also like put a rose in your suit? A yellow one. A that's yellow one. Where will I find red roses, uh, yellow roses in Katatura? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, okay, the sunflower. <laughs> a <put> sunflower. <laughs> okay. uh, any refer to Yeah, La <laughs> Gantele, man. <laughs> Those bogan villas that are growing on people's trees, maybe go pick a couple and put them. Nah, but I, I mean, I don't even want to wear the suit. Why would I want to so even accessorize it? What, what, is this, what does a yellow rose symbolize? Yeah, in Nagushwa. Because we, we need to understand... Our finance minister, when he <laughs> got dressed yesterday, mm. and he put his suit on, which he's used to, he always wears suits anyway. From mm. the time he's from the, mm. g- wa- from the gov- as a governor of the bank, it's mm. compulsory. To denk he, kom ek sê tiri gio, ruus, ruus. It's a ruus, no? Yeah, ruus. Yeah. You know your Africans go like up there when you, you know, speak. Ruus. <laughs> ruus. <laughs> I need to get into this man's frame of mind. First of all. I'm going to Google the symbolism of a yellow rose because I, I feel like there's something we're missing there. You guys, it, this is starting... Oh, it's sounding like Obamagate now. <laughs> Obama didn't wear an American flag. Pin. Yes, yes, yes. He's the first president. Yes. It's a disgrace. Shame on you. Los fe, boom, 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 boom. Next time he's going to rock up with a pink one. <laughs> just to shut you all up. Oh, but apparently it symbolizes... In, in East, Eastern culture, yellow roses represents joy wisdom and power i thank you okay i thank you. I think you well from the way that the parliament was reacting to his speech there was not a lot of power being displayed <laughs> right? maybe any, wisdom and joy <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. yeah um let's just read a little bit from uh one of our local dailies here um uh, it's of course on the front a page uh government debt rises to 117 billion Namibian dollars. Whoa. Yes, financing of the 2020-2021 national budget, which has ballooned to fight the impacts of the coronavirus, will see government debt stock rising to a record high. Uh, Finance Minister Ipumbushimi has stabled a 64.3 billion budget with a whooping extra 8.4 billion Namibian dollars 
or about 16.4% of revenue earmarked for the payment of interest on government loans. Therefore, total expenditure including interest payments for the 2020-2021 financial year amounts to about uh, 72.8 billion Namibian dollars. <coughs> Let me just, um, maybe just to give you guys a bit of context, just how much was allocated to... Certain the different ministries. Yeah, to, to, to the different ministries. Um, uh, the Ministry of Defense. No, let's start with safety and security. Safety and security is 5.4 billion. 5.34 billion. Okay. Safety and security. More or less the same as uh, they have uh, received over the past two financial years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just a little bit down from last year, a little bit up from the previous one. Uh, the Ministry of Defense, uh, 6.229 billion. Compared uh, to? Compared to last year, it's gone up a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, but the previous year, it was also, like last year, it had gone down from the from previous year. From the previous year, yeah. so we complained two years ago. Yeah. Mm. Um, Could it be a, a farm or two that we bought? Here and there. Here, here and there, you know what I'm saying. throw money to the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Throw money at the problem, it'll make it go away. Uh, Ministry of Finance, um, that one has gone up by 6.2 billion. Uh, I mean, the past, the previous two years was 4.3 billion and 4.4 billion. So it's gone up by almost $2 billion, the, the, their budget allocation for this year. Um, education, Arts and Culture, 14.1 billion Namibian dollars. From? From 13.7. Uh, okay, went up. Yeah, um, it had stayed. Uh, uh, relatively the same over the past two years uh -huh. um health and social services mm. hey hit me oh, a favorite. hit me 7.9 billion from? that's that's gone up from 6.8 billion that's like about 1.1 billion increase and uh, it had stayed also the same more or less over the past two years just going up slightly they budget by, by a billion a dollars of, of face masks and hand sanitizers in there uh, hopefully for new nurses and doctors also Nee. Somewhere in there, hopefully. Okay. Uh, rural and urban development, um, 1.7 billion, coming down from 1.9, so about 200 million difference. Less. Yes. Okay. Just about. Less. Yes, less. Agriculture, water, and forestry, 1.3 billion down from 1.9 billion. So 600 million that is going away from the agriculture, water, and Hello. forestry budget. Food security here. Yeah, food is coming from South Africa. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but it, it, you're very correct, and and I and I hate that the Ministry of Agriculture remains the neglected child. Yep. In in all ministries, and actually, it's the they one that we should be throwing money at. Hello. They have. That's the, what I'm saying. They have the smallest budget allocation of everybody here. Yeah. As they the should. smallest. Yeah, and and it's for me. I think when I looked at the budget, I think that was my biggest disappointment. Because especially with this COVID-19, where we, we, we are preaching becoming self-sustainable, why would you throw the least money at I you? think you. And then throw more money at defense. Mm. Who's going to war? Hello. Who, nobody's trying to attack anybody. During this guy, <laughs> they're getting ready for a civil war that, <laughs> that they were mentioning is, last year. Yeah, there, it's just no war <laughs> going to happen in the foreseeable future. No. Nobody is looking at Namibia. Nobody is that concerned with us. But you keep throwing money to that guzzler that is the defense ministry. And then you neglect a very, very, very crucial and very important ministry like agriculture, which you should be actually elevating. Then, 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 then you people complain <coughs> when Namas get angry. You understand? Are you talking about Swartboy? Yeah. When Swartboy gets angry over these things, then, then you people complain. Mm. These are the things that Namas Look, don't even, like. Even rural and urban developments budget also came down. But, but here's, like, let me give an <gasps> over, overview of mm. this revenue. So they're saying um, the, re the revenue decline is expected mm. for this now, 20, 2021. Mm. Um, revenue down by 14.3 percent yeah right mm. it's about 8.3 billion this is uh, the f from forecasts okay mm. vat collection to fall by 32.8 percent oh sally but tell me <laughs> personal income tax down to 20.3 percent personal income tax mm. <laughs> corporate tax down by 25.5 percent and saco income to be 22.3 billion okay so uh, this this is by an economist that the, mm. this is their forecast, but mm. it's it's very interesting that mm. you're going to ultimately s make less from taxes mm. and all these other things, but obviously the the, the budget was ballooned, 
Um, and the question is now, where are you really going to get this money? Where are you going to get the money? Where are you going to get the money? From China. No, but you're paying your debt back to ask China. Ask China. <laughs> yes. You pay with the one hand and then you ask with the other one. <laughs> China's got its own problems right now. <laughs> China is always willing to capture no, another got African its own state. Problems right now. They're always willing to capture another African state. Always, they don't have yeah. issues. All right. Um, so it is what it is. Okay. The, the other two ministries that I did not mention, guys, just uh, mm. so I can put down the education. Namibian Sun. Um, yeah, higher education, training, and innovation. Um, three point three billion. Also, just a little bit up from three point one. Uh huh. Um, poverty eradication and social welfare. Um, five. 0.2 billion up from 3.5 so almost about uh, 1.8 billion increase in uh, their budget allocation all right let's talk about the presentation itself you know like uh, there's a lot of things here about these numbers that we're probably going to have to get an economist into the studio yes. so he can come break it down for us mm. but the one thing we definitely did pick up was lpm's unruly behavior <laughs> in parliament <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we were having that conversation off air this morning. You, know, you remember when, 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 when uh, you know, elections were the thing last year? Mm. Everybody was like, we, we can't wait to get uh, uh, Swat Boy and his people into parliament mm. because, you know, this status quo where people are just sitting there doing nothing and not mm. being questioned and just is going to stop. Mm. Well, mm. yesterday we sort of got a taste of that. Never, what, what was your take, Jade Mosok, for, for Uncle? Uncle Uncle Swart Boy her husband. That's a belief. It's a belief. Muni Jacob is late where I voted in. Did I know where Khan. you voted. Khan. No, 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 no. As a politician I I I respect and I do admire mm. uh, Bernardus. Mm. And uh, yeah. And I think we've all basically braced ourselves this year that with him in parliament nobody will fall asleep. Mm. Everybody will sit up and listen because this guy will obviously he's 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 always been a hell raiser. Yeah. So um <laughs> and Mama it showed again the yesterday. <clears throat> but then again, I just feel that you know what, like how the EFF used to when the EFF started out disruptive politics. Very, very disruptive politics and just to antagonize. I just want to show you that mm -hmm. the status quo that you used to mm -hmm. is not gonna happen from here going forward. Yeah. So Probably that's perhaps what they were trying to do. I, I, I even remember back in the day, Maria, when, uh, when the uh, uh, Pay Back the Money campaign was on in the South African Parliament. Pay back the money. Up to a point where, where there's a state of the nation and Msholozi would start reading his statement. And then you're like, oh God, please let them not. Let them not. And you just hear, Honorable Speaker. Yeah. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker. So I have a point of order. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe that's what's going to happen from here going forward. But, but let me let me let me ask though, since I mean we have um, witnessed the EFF in the South African Parliament over a couple of years now. Mm. Do you think that um, it like it it, it, served, it served a purpose? Yes. That, that disruptive. What 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 did they achieve? I personally think that Umsholozi would have run basically his whole presidency. Mm -hmm if the EFF was not as brazen as they were. So you, you didn't want Zuma in power? Me personally? Yes. I think that guy, he he really crippled the South African mm. economy through, through the Zuptas. <laughs> Guptas. No. Kama Zuptas. Yes, it's the Zuptas. <laughs> it's Zuma Gupta. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, I don't know, maybe in Namibia we still get our point of reference. Maybe it's the fish rot or... Yeah. Diamond rod, like Maria talked about yesterday. Because I'm, 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 I'm thinking of it, right? Look, the, the, the <laughs> today is the day after my birthday. I do not want to deal with these things. He's loving. <laughs> okay, okay. So never like you see the point I'm trying to make, right? I don't I, like. Yes, sometimes these things are funny, but you also don't want disruption without Not a true. purpose. It's people just being disruptive for the purpose of being disruptive. Mm. There must be some, some some substance to yes it. some mm. substance to it yeah and it goes back i mean i my vote is not a secret i voted lpm me I'm, too I'm, I'm i'm very proud to say but others this whole studio voted for you <laughs> even the one that doesn't want to edge me um, yes <laughs> anyway <laughs> um so it's not a secret i yeah. i I'm, and i obviously going in i knew that this is what we're going to expect from him mm. i just don't think you see uh, 
I'm okay with disruptive politics. I think it's got a place in 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 this society. In, mm. in fact, especially like national discourse, there's definitely place for disruptive politics. Almost sometimes I even I'm even I even think it's the only way to mm. get your point across because mm. taking a kind of a sweet and backdoor stance and a chill is just it's not paying off. And but yes, Tabandula. but that's it, and it's a big big but. I think yesterday watching it, I I started thinking that I would like uh, uh, Bernardes to tone it down a little bit hmm. f- when it's not necessary yes. to be that <clears throat> aggressive. You can't be pick, interrupting. Pick we are doing a national budget and you, you keep it. I am getting irritated now because mm. I'm mm. trying to listen to the budget. Uh. Do you understand? Mm. You, you mm. can't have all this back and forth, but mm. time and place for it. Okay. So and, and also there's something about... There's something about this disruptive and this aggressive, and sometimes I get a hint of aggression in his because dis- he makes a lot of pertinent points, like very. I I like the things he says. I don't think all of it is 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 just to be um, controversial. Yeah. Yes, mm. I think he actually has very relevant points, and 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 I would like to see him bring those points across. I'm not going to dictate how he he does yeah. it, but um, there is like I said, a time and place for it. Uh, uh, when a budget is being read, kind of mm. allow people that are also tuning in to listen to the budget. It means everything yes. to every <coughs> Namibian. It should mean something yes. to it. You can't come with this politics in exactly in that time. Mm. Um, it, it becomes very irritating for me, you know, and, and, and I like him, just by the way. Mm. So um, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think he's still finding his feet. You know, we know disruptive politics is his thing. Mm. I, we know that, but I think he's still finding his feet on how to go about it and when to. And and, and I and I and I am confident that over time, like EF and I and I hate the EFF comparison because it's almost no comparison. I mean, EFF <laughs> was able to build a huge support mm. in Parliament mm. with mm. their members before they, you know. Mm. So when they did the disruptive politics, it kind of worked because they had the numbers yeah, yeah, yeah. to kind of lobby. Many you know? of them in yes, Parliament. there were yes. many of them with those red beret and like mm. red outfits. Honorable Speaker. Yes. <laughs> so so it became like a squat. And and for disruptive, you can't be like solo. Mm. You you would need some backing to yeah. kind of have the effect mm. that you want to have. Yes. <laughs> and with mm. him, I, I feel sometimes it, f- it falls short just because he doesn't have the numbers. Mm. Okay. He doesn't have the numbers. And also, like I said, I think he's still finding his f- foot on how to strategically do it. Like you said, it has to have a purpose. It has yes. to have. A, I want. I want when you disrupt, I'm listening to you, and I'm yes. all ears. And I don't want. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like right, cheering yes. you. Like yeah, yeah. I don't want to be like I near my set ears. I'm mm. thinking like Bach ears. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I don't want to be like Bach ears. Mm. And yesterday I found myself doing too many Bach ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think defeats the purpose. But I mean, that's just my feeling. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm now I'm <coughs> completely in agreement with that. Uh, like, if if you're just disrupting for the purpose of being controversial or, or or you know disrupting the status quo, whatever it is, then at some point you become the problem. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So so he needs to pick his battles carefully. Mm. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to him yeah. Yeah. <laughs> giving giving this it guy some. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, and you actually amplify your your voice by learning when to mm. be disruptive yes. mm. because when when you become disruptive when it's like it's a timing issue really mm. Mm. um you amplify that voice because now everybody's paying attention mm. you know it can't just be we're talking about sword boy because he was disrupting mm. budget but w- we don't really know what he said mm. that can't be the conversation mm. we should be able to know exactly what he's saying and mm. agree or yes. disagree yeah. whatever but mm. exactly pay very close attention to what he's saying to what he's saying yes yeah all right yeah interesting <coughs> um neville is going to get us one of his economist friends next week to come talk about this no, then be too, uh, Maurice Freda, man. we don't want heavy stuff yeah. tomorrow Maurice Freda. Yeah, we don't talk about. You know, the economists are so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> they are heavy people. <laughs> and please, should, should we even consider? <laughs> Hello, we we've been the economists today. Stla, nestla. Oh, you know, it's ba- in Texas is going Kla. up. Alcohol is going up. Sharp. It's any budget. All Sharp. right. Speaking about <laughs> the syntax and alcohol, especially. What are you? Uh, Continue. What are your expectations of uh, 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 yes. 
<rire> sept, quand il y a eu sept, il continue. Je vais voir la, 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 la Mr. President, Comrade President, vandaag c'est, c'est adresse, Mac. Come on, Neville, give us the insight. Aha, aha ba, is busy like this. Guys, Neville is celebrating. Now, you know Neville has insider information, right? Mm. So that means Must maybe we should so all nice. start celebrating. Must be so nice to be a favorite, ne? Mm. Like he calls Neville, it's like, Neville, tomorrow I'm going to announce yeah. <laughs> that there's going to be the sale of alcohol. I wish. <laughs> What do you think? I wish. <laughs> I seriously wish I had that inside information because we are waiting with bated breath what Akaba will be saying today. Not I, so. Like, personally, guys, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I do not think we should be allowing the sale of I don't think so alcohol. either. <gasps> it's not, and it's not a popular opinion. And look, mm. uh, uh, when I say this, I'm very, very, very mindful mm. of the over 300,000 people yes. that generate an income mm. from the sale of alcohol. I'm, mm. I'm very, very uh, aware that there's a large, pop- like a large percentage of people that just rely on, on the, the sale, sale of, of alcohol, alcohol yeah. to feed their families and so forth. So, le- le- I just want to put that disclaimer out, mm. you know, that I am speaking from a privileged place. That said, the problem with Namibia has always been that we still don't know responsible drinking. Just mm. like we don't know responsible dr- uh, driving on the road. That's why when they allowed us to be back on the road mm. this past weekend mm. accidents skyrocketed, again, yeah, skyrocketed yes. because <laughs> we it's it's a it's a namibian thing like right now and mm. i hope we change it but mm. it's a it's it's very ingrained in in our blueprint two things our behavior on the road and our drinking alcohol consumption mm. and i'm not talking about beer beer is more light i'm talking about heavy booze no beer once you had oh, four Maria. five <laughs> okay, I don't consume beer. So yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One beer is light, yeah. but six or seven is just but as yeah. bad as a brandy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So that's the equivalent of like two glasses of vodka, yeah, yeah, yeah. vodka and lemonade. If you have enough beer, five, six beers, huh? no, you, yeah. can, you can wreck. I've had, I've, and, I've, I've, I've had blackout nights from and, drinking yeah. just beer. And for me, it's like, the to- I'm not even talking Tombo, because Tombo's uh, drinkers generally don't have cars. Elecha and Lori, that will be part like... Mm. <laughs> they, so, they, yeah, they have yeah. you just know you harm yourself <laughs> you, know, you, first. you stumble or <laughs> self harm <home>. drink <laughs> <laughs> yes. you stumble to your homes, homestead and you fall, maybe you sleep in the bush mm. and you wake up when the sun is up mm. you know they don't really have cars mm. so you know those, this, like, this informal market as much as we want to give them like a yeah. lot of the burden, it's really not you mm. know it's more like the commercialized uh, market but in any event, um, Namibians we don't know how to drink responsibly mm. and trust me after going a few months without the minute it is allowed mm-hmm. that katutura hospital is gonna be full mm. Mm. it's inevitable it's inevitable and we know it and i think it's the inevitable. president knows but it's it. a sad state though like that's why that's why mm. uh, <laughs> which is the coping mechanism i don't know what it is is it like we don't know how to cope without alcohol. And I know because since the ban of alcohol, every single day go to social media. That's the thing that they complain about every single day. Hello, those, yeah. people, when are, those we, people are business people. No, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about consumers. Yes, the consumers are no, the, the ones the, who the, are the, the, I'm talking about consumers. I, interestingly <laughs> enough, I mean, we had somebody from NPL here that was saying, the MD saying, you know what? We do hope that this opens, uh, but also like acknowledging the the social um, ills of yeah. alcohol and saying yeah. we want alcohol to work abuse, with yes. Yes. Mm. we want to work with government so that we can. So even he's aware of it. So mm. I'm not talking about commercial. I'm t- I'm really literally talking about consumers mm. and just how depressed they seem to be. Mm. And and not everybody that is obviously airing those opinions is is, is addicted or has an yeah, addiction yeah. problem. Mm. But it's just the fact that you cannot cope without it is very strange to yes me. i understand even, even even if you yourself consume the alcohol responsibly you do not abuse yeah. alcohol mm. you have to admit that if you look around you the alcohol no, abuse no, is rife in yeah. our society it's, in it's, our communities yeah. it's really rife in our country and then yeah. we, we sincerely hope you know what um obviously my point of view is that there needs to be some certain measures that government needs to take in terms of opening up mm. the sale of of of, of alcohol I personally don't think that it should be banned <laughs> completely. 
there must be measures put in place such yeah. as such as uh, trading hours such as um restrictions trading hours have but already trading, been there. trading hours are there already even further even further we're talking about bars now um if we're going to be opening up churches etc then there needs to be but how like half of the bars in evelyn street are owned by ministers i hear what you say but the thing is again the three hundred thousand people that we do talk <laughs> about who do depend on on this income yeah uh, there must be some measurements that we need to take in in in, yeah. in order to to get them back into the economic stream yes so um we will hear what Ahaba will say today, but but I do agree with you guys. Alcohol has it's been a historical problem in our country. What 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 is yeah. your predict? My prediction is that he will allow. He will allow. He, I think he will allow. Yeah. Um, but I he I also think he'll put very strict measures. Mm. But I also think it will be like a clear warning. Like I'm gonna allow this. Yes. But but if I if we see. Mm. Uh, 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 an abuse if we see that the health system has been burdened okay khobraha. i'm gonna shut this thing down yeah. okay there's 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 somebody here who keeps asking the same question i guess so maybe let's address it quickly while yeah. we're on the mm. alcohol thing uh manuel Cavondana. stop fear mongering maria why are you guys fear mongering on the whole alcohol thing i think that's like the second time he's come through with a, a comment of that nature okay, but, but what comments. is what is what is what is but, but what is fear mongering? i don't understand i don't understand. okay let me before you read all the comments let me just make it clear there's nothing fear mongering about alcohol abuse in this country it's it's a, and then we, because we see the sexual mm. uh, uh, sexual we see the social impact <laughs> No, because yeah. I was going to talk about sexual abuse, but okay. anyway, which is also part of an alcohol problem. Yes. We see the social impacts, mm. whether it's unemployment, whether it is uh, abuse, mm. which is the GBV, SGBV, the sexual elements where mm. it also comes in with it, SGBV, whether it's the burden of the, the, the violence, yes. Yes, the violence that comes with it, whether it's accidents, mm. yeah. when people are intoxicated, I'm not talking about the w long distance way, no, I'm talking about just after mm. drinking and then getting into your car and those accidents that happen after a certain hour. Mm. We're seeing all of this, and those are the social impacts of alcohol, not consumption so much, alcohol abuse. Mm. But I cannot almost in Namibia separate consumption and abuse because it's a very thin line. Yeah. And, and, I, and I don't like when people, especially in Namibia, pretend like this is fear mongering because even you know what I'm talking about. It's because There's I don't want to. Like you, you see, I, I, I consider it, I will consider it fear mongering because i don't want to hear that nonsense yes man. but you don't know it's like, true mm, yeah yes. it's like mm. don't why why are you trying to scare people now yes mm. <laughs> but everybody yeah. everything i'm saying everybody if you're a namibian you know exactly what i'm saying it's it's a difficult thing to acknowledge and to admit yeah. that we have an alcohol problem mm. but if you travel I, in our society yeah. and you move around whether it's in Vintuk, whether it's at the yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't even have to move around the society. Yes. I bet like in, in, even in just about home. every black family, there's at least one, one person who has an alcohol problem. Oh, not one. just not just three. Yes. Several. That's why I said at least one. Hey. Every family has at least one. <laughs> so you guys... No, 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 no. That's in the white community. <laughs> at least even one. Even they have those problems. Yeah. More than one, actually. Yeah. <laughs> No, with us there are several. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. So, so the problem is there. There's no point trying to hide from it. Is the reason why we haven't fixed it, or we haven't yeah, even attempted to yeah. try and fix yeah. it. Confront it. Let's confront it. Let's acknowledge it, mm. and then start putting measures to make sure that those people that do depend on it can kind of, you know, get the help they need so that we can drink <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> real fair. <laughs> we have Dark here demonstrating how people drink and it's so spot on. We've all seen that view before. Uh, it's true. <laughs> the guys who come to your house these days are starting to look at the hand sanitizers. It's like, hey, yo, is, does that thing have alcohol in it? <laughs> all right, let's read a couple of uh, comments. Yes. Uh, frequency in Vintuk from Lubovsky Diaby Alexander. It is coming. Right? Coronavirus took it for now, but. It is coming. Don't worry. Um, Shaq Stiofe Tatehage will be like, alcohol is prohibited. I'm just Aye. joking, guys. <laughs> 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 he does have a sense of humor. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he did that. <laughs> um, Sito Kluter. Okay, you let, let them, let them what? Let them allow alcohol so that we can stock up and then close again. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Raymond Basson opened the selling of liquor, but keeps strict rules around the using and selling of the alcohol. But how? How? Like, I mean, the, the, there has been rules around. We're gonna get into a discussion again. Okay, <laughs> Lucia, she were the churches with mask. I wonder how we are going to worship. <laughs> okay. Um, the other pastor was arrested yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which pastor? Uh, <laughs> the, 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 Rhino yeah. Hall. We ran a story. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yes, that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that guy a pastor? No? Oh, Pro- prophet. Is he a prophet. pastor or entrepreneur? Men of God. Or entrepreneur. Yeah. Actually, no? You must be careful how you address these people. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Me, I speak Pastor to God. Hute. I speak to God directly. I don't need a middleman. <laughs> Abiata MN Morning Crew. If I had to choose between sales of alcohol and lockdown extension, I would prefer extension and work from home. Mm-hmm. You can keep your alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lucia Shivede, NDF got more budgets. Let them keep people indoors. You don't want to deal with our NDF on the streets. Mm. Mm. I'm sure you, you have had enough experience or, or you have seen what they can do around. Uh, Regine, Kathy, Mushimba, we are doing just fine without alcohol, guys. It's just so, it's just so rejuvenating. I've, se- I've never seen so many black people running without being chased before. Uh. <laughs> it's like just jogging through the streets. I'm like, wow. Impressive. <laughs> it's a squan, you. Hey. Squan, squan. Herbert Vantanar. Is that how you say that? Vantanar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's right. She's deep in Elisa and I'm too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. It's hard for you. Maria, Maria, no, Mary, I mean. Mm. Yeah, Mary, I just lost my vote. Sorry, you are very intelligent, but that alcohol statement is dumb. I'm, I'm <laughs> tuning <skates>. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry to disappoint It's okay. Mm. The truth is like rain, it doesn't care who it falls on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I need to use that. I need wow. to tweet that. Shucks, uh, we don't need alcohol, guys. You, come on, we don't need alcohol. Mm. Uh, Simon yeah, Amushira. Well, hello, Shucks, to favor who? Why are you making a statement like that? It's, it, but he's, anyway. he's just trying to side with Mary. We all know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, muhu. Simon Amushira, can we please invite Honorable Swartboy one morning, please? <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be in- quite interesting, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, Floyd Umlazi is saying, Swart boy draw copy. <laughs> so does the president. So what? Hmm? Five yeah. star and a three star. Quap. Like me. Muni like me lem eight ali my bro. Pony. Pony Khausep. Um, he did not cut the state motors because of uh, disruptive LPM. It's because of the pandemic. That's the reason. Mm. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm also a mm. bit lost. Jolly Makabanyani. Maria, I wish you good health. For every... F- no, for the very first time you mentioned something honestly, especially concerning LPM. Yeah. For the first time, don't insult mm. my intelligence, please. I, I, apparently you I are try always to keep it 100 with you're you always guys lying every to us morning. <laughs> and if you can't appreciate it, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, 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 my question is what will all the disruption and uh, complaining help if the budget was made already mm. without your LPM input mm. I mean it, mm. it, it doesn't it, that's not the point of disruptive politics it's sometimes the rules are made but you're just engaging them and then you're letting other people see other like perhaps things they didn't consider yeah, yeah exactly. that it's not about or oh, you can't you, you you don't have the power to change so just be quiet no it's yeah that's not the point of disruptive politics in fact it's actually the opposite you complain about things you can't change so that you change the minds of the people that have the power to force the change exactly Next time around. <clears throat> so 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 you suggest because the budget was already made he should just sit there and, and shut up <laughs> okay shucks tiofe Shyama Gustav G is watching, guys. Who's Shyama Gustav G? Uh, Kenny. Is that your rechter name? Is yeah. that guy from that video? <laughs> um, okay, here. Yeah. Uh, Regine, Kathy, Mushimba. I think I read this comment, no? Um, disruptive politics somehow brings about change. Just look at our president. He cut the state motors. Uh, oh, the cars. Uh, and for the second term... Um, uh, had it not been for disruptive politics, they would have been buying luxury cars left, right, and center. Yeah. I don't know if that was a result of disruptive yeah. politics, but uh, okay. 
Because nobody was really complaining about the cars, no? Like, apart from Benani, who at some point said they must drive Corollas. Corollas, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like that's all it's I remember. The president says it's called <laughs> Land Cruiser. <laughs> uh, Bradley Kubisep, so Maria and Cubase, you guys voted Swart Boy after pushing the tribalism card here on air. You guys and politicians, same WhatsApp so bad. No, look, the whole what card what? Did push? The, the, No, I think I think the tribalism thing was during the Adora issue. That's where the whole L- LPM because uh, remember LPM was up in arms also against yes. Adora. Yes, we voted for Swart Boy before that because of his politics. Mm-hmm. And the LPM reacting in uh, afterwards, reacting to the Adora issue is a whole. So what does tribalism thing. have to do with it? That's huh. my question. Was I don't understand. What I don't really saying. know what he's saying either. Mm. Yeah. Uh, is, is he is he is he saying that? Because I don't think we've ever claimed that only Nama Damara speaking people voted LPM. So I, that's yeah. maybe not the tribalism. Uh. I, we've never said that. I'm trying to think. No, but like we made it clear even during the before elections, du- during the campaigning, like yeah. m- we most of us were leaning Swart Boy for, for parliament. And, and, yeah. and yeah. then we were divided. Um, uh, uh, a presidential yeah. For the candidate. presidential yes. candidate. Exactly. Yeah. Because, because again, if, if he's trying to claim that, I mean, people Look, vote along tribal lines for for the lpm then i don't know i don't would know we, what he's saying would we okay, say no, now this, the same that this Damaras feels like we are defending ourselves it's just not something that we do here oh yeah yeah, yeah as far, as far. so we're going to keep yes, it moving yes, Jolly yes, Makabanyane, i'm not even impressed with lpm okay. disruption without a purpose <laughs> won't mean anything we <laughs> need solutions deep east yeah. What gonna help our people? That's it. <laughs> especially, yeah. come, especially from the south. That's it. Mm. Okay, okay, that's not me. I'm just like mm. I don't know if you wrote it in that uh, kind of uh, yeah. tone. We had to put the soundtrack. <laughs> to it. Yeah. Lucia Shivere, old souls can't not sleep because our own Julius Malema of Namibia say it like it is. Honorable Swap Boy, man of action. Man um, of action. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like a superhero. Sh- Shaks the offer is saying Swapo TV Swart Boy. I don't know what that means. Okay, whatever. Is Swart Boy <laughs> launching something called Swapo TV? I would Me watch that. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Mm, uh, happy birthday to our Maria. Well, belated happy birthday. I mean, I and Josie Josie, we like you, Maria. This day. It's most net shucks, but it's such a no, no, so and so shall of come. Makwa Fan Makwa, if you guys invite Swart, Swart Boy in the studio, you will regret because he will be like, um, hey, you little Maria, shut up. <laughs> yep, 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I've actually had very good conversations with him. I don't. I think there's also sometimes there's a misunderstanding. Yes. Him, yeah. a, look, that call, look, that Maria call. Yeah, that yeah. Girl. She yeah. speaks too much. I am yeah. trying to make. <laughs> she speaks too much without intellectual basis. Yeah. <laughs> Just yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> All right, uh, let's read more comments. <laughs> Titus S. Utoni, but why the government don't try something to increase the budget of some ministry, like youth and agriculture? Mm. We need to have a creativity nation, mm. uh, which it will be through those two ministries. Our NDF is ranked <laughs> the least army in the world, <laughs> mm. where all those money went in the past years since they stopped creating employment. Yeah. Let me be very clear. I don't think this budget was necessarily for COVID-19 times. I don't mm. think they, th- they, they planned like with the thought of COVID-19 into the next year. This is not the feeling I got when I was mm. listening to the budget. But, may- but also, I don't know their contingency plan. Maybe they have a, uh, on the side mm. a contingency plan to tackle this COVID-19 in the short term. But yes, this is not a COVID-19 budget. Let's just yeah. be very, very clear. And, and I, I think to some degree it should have been yeah. because I don't think this thing is going away. Mm. Um, you should have perhaps put more money um, to the ministries that need it more during this time. Mm. To Like you're saying, for example, higher education. Okay, you're talking mm. about online <coughs> learning. Yeah. Education itself. Yes. Um, mm. Online learning. Um, or, mm. or, you know, so this, uh, not that education doesn't, I mean, education already re- receives a higher budget, but I'm saying rather that, like, what is, okay, then the, I know that the defense and safety and whatever is now, you know, having the people on the street, but still to increase it to that but degree. It, just it, does it not would be sense. nice to see, though, how, how these budgets are used up by, by these different ministries. I mean, for instance, how much of that goes into, for instance, their wage bill? How much goes into, like, developmental yeah. projects? How much of that goes I mean, into... You know, the different aspects of, of, of these yeah, ministries. Yeah, but before the budget is made, you know, the ministries have to kind of uh, send the reports to yes. 
to the finance minister and say exactly. this is this is how much it goes to salaries yeah this is these are the plans that we have for the ministry we're going to need this and plan for yeah. yeah so obviously he has to consider and then obviously cut where he needs to cut um obviously and i don't think anybody really gets the budget they that they, they ask they for. ask for i think usually they'll get less than they ask for and you they get know what that. you get maybe yeah and, and they usually know that so mm. that's why they add all this but 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 it's funny we have heard in the past uh ministries that that at the end of the financial year still have their budget left and it has to go back go into back the government yeah, to back coffers. To the state coffers yeah yes. we've had those in, i mean i think the biggest surprise one was the education yeah when we still had schools without classrooms and yes and they're like we, money back we don't have money coffers. for textbooks <laughs> and then they send the money back to government yes no, that is somebody is not I, doing the job. Yes, mm. poor management. Yes. That's just what I was that, about that to say. That minister at the time should have been fired on and, the and spot. No, and if, 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 if we start firing ministers for not doing their job, most of them are going wow. to be that's eighty percent gone. Wow. Yes, mm. and and I do agree with what you say, Maria. I think in terms of the pandemic, what we're facing at the moment. I mean, this country went into lockdown what twenty seventh of March. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think in terms of adjusting the budget, mm. I think we've had enough time, ample time to say, you know what, mm. we got a month or two to actually present this budget to, mm. to the people of Namibia. Mm. Let's do some changes here, changes there. But tweak it, yeah. Yeah, tweak it here mm. and there, but it doesn't su- look like it was tweaked at all. No, no, this isn't a COVID-19 mm. budget. Let's just yeah. be Co- very, very uh, clear. Uh, guys, like, it seems like everybody seems to be forgetting, like, uh, the state of emergency itself is not going to last forever. The coronavirus is probably going to be around until probably end of next year. By then, hopefully, well, forever, if we, we would have found a vaccine. a vaccine. Yeah, and I'm, you know, hoping that we, we would find a, a vaccine sometime during next year. But in any case, the state of emergency ends when end of august when does it end when 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 will it be six months is it not november or november whatever the situation Mm. remember by that time companies will no longer have this restriction from retrenching their employees which means after the state of emergency a lot of the companies who are even holding on like you know by By yeah by a thread will shed a lot of people Mm. and this budget doesn't look like there is enough out there to sort of uh, help uh, even what is the social welfare mm. ministry of what is it called I get no security so why am I struggling Maria stop looking into my eyes you're making me nervous <laughs> Um, minister, <laughs> ministry of <laughs> health, yeah, health and social welfare I think they should have gotten a lot more because obviously they are social the ones who are, yes, who are who are really dealing with the problem in the first place. We need better social nets for mm. for for a, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. That is just the unfortunate truth, because mm. a lot of companies have lost revenue, mm. and exactly. they will continue to lose revenue mm. for the foreseeable future. And it doesn't seem like and I, and I made a controversial it. statement yesterday. I mean, I don't I don't know controversial. I guess depending on who you ask, but I was mm. like, it's uh, s- selfishly sometimes. I'm just like. Let's just get on with it. Like, if we die, we die. You, there are really times when I'm thinking like this. Mm. Mm. Because it's like, I just can't continue life like this. This mm. uncertain times where if this thing is going to go on for the next five, yeah. ten years, what are we without, yeah. are we are we really gonna just continue living yes. like this uncertain it's like come on, somebody even comments come on me the best immune system win <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> natural selection that's we, what some people are arguing for we've been drinking and chewing fresh ginger and lemon every day we're making sure that vitamin c is in there <laughs> but is, isn't that somehow how the human race evolved or how the human species evolved mm-hmm. over the years and you know like the the, adapt. the strongest will survive and then the other ones will die out and then the strongest will reproduce yeah, and survival produce of, yeah. the yeah. fittest yes mm. natural selection okay let's read comments mm. um Guyton. morning guys the change of mentality is what's needed right alcohol consumption is for lack of a better word, a lifestyle in many parts of our societies. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think Namibia is a problem on its own. The reason why it looks so bad might be because of a small population, but there's an alcohol problem everywhere. South Africa, Zambia, Congo, mm-hmm. others. People We're the just drink all day long. Yes. We're the second biggest beer, beer, beer drinkers in the world. Mm. Per capita. In the world. Yes. Mm. Per capita. The only country in the top five numbers, the second country to come, I think, is Mauritius or whatever. But mm. what I'm saying is, 
Yes. We were, and before prior to becoming number two, we were number one for a very very for long very time. Long now time. it's Czech mm. Republic, and I'm just talking about beer, mm. okay? Which is I guess a, a lighter. But you said you can also get drunk on it. Yes. So y- you're not gonna try and tell me this thing is not prevalent in our society. The problem is there. We don't want to face it. Yes, you see, Maria, admitting that there's a problem means it has to get fixed. Yes. So just that's ignore the first step. It. Yes. Admit it. Ex- ignore, you can only ignore, recover ignore or get help <laughs> when you admit you have a problem. That's no problem. We are fine. Lost on net eight. That's a problem. We will go play our sevens. Um, <laughs> get away to Nicanor. The truth is like rain. Doesn't care who it falls on. Mm. Yes. Of course. Did you guys think I came up with that myself? <laughs> Jeez. Um, Jennifer Irene Ileka, Maria's younger sister. Uh, alcohol problem. Shucks, please leave her alone. Uh, alcohol <laughs> problem is there. It yeah. will be. And we try by all means to not have it, but uh, its effect. The problem is there. And a huge percentage of it is caused by the abuse consumption of alcohol. Yes, but looking at this, at another point, selling of alcohol rises our financial state, whereby we actually need it because honestly, <coughs> we Namibians need the financial rise up. And not just, not just Namibians, the government as well, because you need to remember that that's also revenue for government. It's tax so yeah. it. yeah, but, but <laughs> not all Namibians are selling alcohol. There's like a hundred selling to like 10,000. Mm. So you ten thousand will be losing money and a hundred will be making money. Mm. I won't lie. I, I and I've said it, I partly blame the, the like uh post independent government for just not ever putting restrictions to like because now we're sitting with this problem. You go to the north, every short distance is a bar. You saw thought that so is an mm. bar. You saw thought mm. that so is like mm. along the road is just lined with bars. Like COVID-19 people are not bar. creative with business anymore. Like Mm. You want to start a business, you want to make f- fast money, there's two things. Corona you get a taxi yeah. or you get a bar. That's it. Lah. That's the only two business things that we know in, in Namibia how to make money or the fastest way. Mm. We, we've, it kind of it has suppressed our creativity because now we're not thinking of smart ways. Mm. Yeah. Don't think outside business. the box. That's, that's why the, we don't stay in either. the box. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if that was a way, maybe we'd put more focus on agriculture. On agriculture. You find somebody that sells spinach, delivers it to your house, mm. or sells chicken like in, 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 when I was in Kenya. We didn't go to the shop. There was, if you needed chicken, there was a, a chicken, so a person that drops fresh chicken, yes. like plucked yeah. and everything yes. to your house. Mm. They were doing all the vegetable for a week, like with spinach, exactly. onions, tomatoes, whatever, mm. delivered to your house. Every, and this is somebody's business. Mm. And, they, and they survive <coughs> on this and they make money on this, but it's so smart and I think that is so creative. But here it's like... Mm. No, like, in the, like it's some, even, even um, countries like Tanzania, like they have they trade with each other a lot more than they buy especially imported products yes. exactly. which yes. is not yeah. a culture that we have yeah. here yes. i give you sugar cane you give me spinach yes yeah. i mean you can get you can get a tailor-made suit in 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 any way in in one day he so near i can what's the suit be maria ruta i'm going to markups, mark-ups. yes <laughs> exactly of yeah, La Bistro, whatever the show. <laughs> La Bistro. Oh. <laughs> okay, Cuba. Somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> La Bistro. <laughs> we want so so I can start my little casut business. Just maybe yeah. my friends around me will want to buy. Yeah. My alcohol, they mm. will come flocking in numbers, <laughs> and then they say they don't have an alcohol problem. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> That in our is saying, uh, Mr. Sandile Sharonda said a cost-benefit analysis would show that despite the alcohol industry's contribution to GDP, there are hidden costs such as hiring of doctors and yes. the distortion of family incomes that are incurred by government. Uh-huh. Hmm. Neville, uh, just asking the abuse of alcohol like uh, we see it now, was it always a problem or did it get worse after our country got their independence? The same about the suicide problems in Namibia from Raymond Person. This I one was directly directly at you. I have no statistics. <laughs> I don't, I don't th- yeah, I opinion? Don't, uh, we don't have... No, no statistics. Opinion? No, I, th- I, think, I think my opinion is I think after independence uh, people started moving freely. Yes and there's been more bars there's been less restrictions and black people have been allowed to own yeah, bars yeah and then black people have been allowed to own bars so <laughs> it, it definitely way. has increased uh, 
obviously some some people probably misguidingly thought that this is entrepreneurship for the last 30 years it but is it is yeah. <laughs> so so yes so people have been doing this for 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 quite a <clears throat> number of years <clears throat> and yeah um rightfully what we're discussing now in terms of food production that's probably something that we've overlooked for a very very long time because we now see we're not making fun of zimbabweans anymore yeah because these are the proactive people who's been completely displaced from their country who knows and understand what is food security mm. and what it is to produce for yourself. And innovation. And innovation. And Very Namibians, important. And Namibians, we don't do that. Yeah. And we're not, we need we, to learn yeah. from, from, from other countries. Yeah, and yeah. we talk about Kenya, yes. we talk about all these other, you, you talk about Tanzania, etc. Mm. We yeah. have to learn. You, to find, you find a Zimbabwean selling you a rug with weed, like a weed rug. Mm. You know, like a straw? Yeah. Yeah. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Rug. Mm. Or making a gate for you with straws. You know, I'm mm. just saying, mm. like, the innovation there is... But some of those things are also <coughs> uh, uh, down in part to their education system. I mean, they get things like this, uh, um, what, what we call vocational training. That is vocational part of their training. schooling, schooling well, system. Well, which we have it here as well. And we why are we not doing it? Where? Vocational ah, training has been at the forefront. They've been pushing no, vocational you, training. You did not let me finish. Oh. They get it as part of their school. high school education. It's not something oh. you have to go ah. pay extra for afterwards. Ah. Do you and understand? We, and we used to have it years ago. I remember when I, when I was in school, yeah, primary school, we had needlework and woodwork. Technical yeah, drawing technical and all that whatever. woodwork, yes. But they, they, yeah, they actually faced it out. I don't know why. Hey, Taiwan's the poorest education. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> I have this guy, Jonas. He's a, he's a plumber slash... Builders I need this number, by the way. Yes. Mm. Jonas, during because it's an essential service that, mm. that Jonas is basically giving. So, Maria, I'm telling you, Jonas was at my house every week mm -hmm. during lockdown, and he would cost me nothing less than probably four to five hundred dollars every week because mm -hmm. there's a little something that he needs to come and fix. Mm -hmm. There's a little something that he needs to fix there. Mm -hmm. I, I was telling Jonas the other day, Jonas J. Magnus helped me, bro. Did and, and and this is down to vocational training. Say, I my brother, the message soup me, I can I umu take ma. So uh, because we are so fixated in that, that I need to sit in a little office. Mm. This is the kind of job that I need to do. Well, there are people out there with vocational skills. The guy that came to fix my stove was there for thirty minutes. He got eight hundred dollars. Kegneda. You know, and he got he's an electrician. He studied electrician at VTC. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <coughs> should should I read comments or should we go? Yeah, read, read a yeah, few comments. Five, five minutes. Yeah. Uh, er, Erastus X Men Ekanjo uh, is being a, a smart boy here. He says the reason <laughs> we are at number one is because of Caprivians. Those guys drink beer like thirsty elephants. <laughs> I'm there's done a, with there's you. There's a basin. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Why do they have to bring the element element in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jolly Macabanyane just wanted to know whether you guys are among the Trasco retrenchment group. We need new faces on this platform. No, hey. I, I agree. We need new faces. It's fine, hey. guys. So we would really and we will speak to HR today and just make sure. No, that no, no, no. I've got a better solution. List. If you want new faces every day at twelve. Yes. We have another show. We have Derkas on air. We have Kaufi yeah. and, and Sammy. <laughs> and Sammy Derkas also on the air. Yeah. Yeah. There are other faces, other conversations going yes. on. This no, but you guys are boring, man. The guys need new faces at this hour. So, Ons Moet Gaan, eh? Ons Moet Gaan. It's it. Ons Moet Gaan. There's a national outcry that our time is finished. <laughs> it's it. Can't you people respect it? Okay. Speak to HR, man. If we are not on the El Mary was here on the stream earlier on. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> she heard you loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Visterin Amadila, the budget was uh, compiled before COVID-19 by Honorable Kale. Honorable Ipumbu just received a handover. The ministries just need to come up with strategic plans to channel the funds to meet new developments such as COVID-19. Okay. Um, Lucia Chiveda, Honorable Swartboy, have uh, always... Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. So, Kali gave himself the lowest budget, not knowing he's going to agriculture. <laughs> 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 
I didn't even pick that up. Mandi, <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, Thank you, Maria. You move there. <laughs> Maria, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just realized now. <laughs> this day. That was what they comment no Vistorin Amadila. Hey Vistorin. <laughs> Man, 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 man. Uh, uh, Honorable Sword Boy always has a point. Young people, unemployment with him, power should have smile with our budget. Just till something happen with monthly income. Moving on swiftly. Timo Kalongo, Hage Klar for Yellow Hase. D. Vatnis a job do need a fire yellow on middle of Sonar Hanada. Yeah. Oh, ministers. The ministers. Yeah. Mm. What is it with you guys and th th the retrenchment? Why are you guys so obsessed with the retrenchment, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Have you never heard of the word retrenchment before? Yeah. Is this the first time you're hearing it in your, yeah. in your, in your whole life? <laughs> it's not a new concept. It didn't just spring up yeah. now during COVID-19. It's been around for eons. Yeah. Mm. But All obviously right? during tough economic times. Yes, it's during tough prevalent. economic times is more, it's more prevalent. 2007, yeah. 2008, the world went through an economic slump. Yes. This so is the worst thing that could have happened yeah. to us during this time. Yes. Yes. This should have happened during the Pohamba era. We would have been okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pohamba would have built us one one dog isolation facilities. <laughs> yes, even when he plus bones on the hearts my twin era. This, this, this picture of Tati Pohamba. <laughs> I've been, I think when we spoke about Tati Pohamba, yes, I'm not too sure. This is this picture I'm looking for. People normally use this as an emoji of if you just have complete contempt for someone, yeah. where Tati Pahamba just sits like this, with his eyes <laughs> like, oh, please. <laughs> I'm trying to find this picture. If you do have this picture of Tati Pahamba just staring in the air like this, showing contempt <laughs> to whatever it is that he was listening to. I know that to. the picture. Talking yeah. About, yeah. Please send it on the stream. Uh, <clears throat> Pau Denny is saying, we Forex traders, <laughs> we are making money every day. <laughs> But we have nowhere to spend our money. Away. <laughs> Buy me flowers. Start there. That's a nice place to, to spend your money. All right. Um, Jane Cooper, you guys are awesome. I personally do not enjoy seeing new faces every day. Trust is built over time and I trust you guys. Oh, giving us news and, entertainment and entertaining us every day. Keep on doing the great work. I Thank think you. that comment, that first comment of needing new faces, mm. I saw Maria's reaction. It, it just threw you off. I know, actually not. <laughs> because it's so hard plan. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, but whatever. Esther Michi is saying, stay love. Uh, <laughs> you uh, Stay love you all. If you go, no way is out. <laughs> no way Thanks. or no way? No, no way. way. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, Bradley Kubisep, I like the innovative mindset of Zimbabweans, uh, but yeah. don't you guys think it is due to the financial pressure they are in? Exactly. I mean, it's a must to sit down and think innovatively, yes. otherwise yeah. you starve and die. Yeah. Yes. This is sure motivation to be creative. Yes. Yeah, we had Kadi is it Kadikwa. Kadikwa, yeah. Yeah, so we had Kadikwa yeah. on air ex explaining it that Namibia's economy was never really made for self-employment mm. um, setup. It was more to be employed that's employee mentality it, yes yeah. that we have an employment mm -hmm. mentality like you finish school go to university to come and work for, for somebody, somebody yeah. not to start your own business yeah. and this is really mm -hmm. the structure and, and she it really explained it yeah. for me for the first time in a in a way that i could digest it and understand it like yeah. from pre like uh, apartheid era into independence it mm -hmm. was a mentality that was built over a period of time oh, and it's going to take true. a lot for us to say you know what let's be more innovative than what is the opposite mm -hmm. They're dependent or exactly, like yeah. Relied, yes. yeah. Necessity breeds innovation. That's yeah. that's yes. just what it is. And maybe with these times we will Yes. And this is something that I box. keep on a lot of people are coming up with creative ways and selling to change their businesses. Businesses, yes. some of them that have been exactly. existing for years and years. And selling alcohol on the black market is not the innovation we're talking about, please. <laughs> no. No, criminality is not innovation. That's just criminality. That's just what it is. Like for instance, I was <laughs> I was listening to an interview on, on The Hour yesterday yeah. with, um, um, was it yesterday or the day before? But in any case, they had uh, uh, the, the, uh, one of the guys from Neopains mm -hmm. in Namibia. Th they've been in existence for 67 years. But anyway, during the COVID-19, they realized, you know, paint is not an essential service. Yeah. We can't really, you know, still be keeping up production, but we need to still keep busy somehow. Yes. So they sort of 
just tweaked their 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 machinery yeah. a little bit and they started producing hand sanitizer smart i mean they had some yeah. of the raw materials already see that's yeah. that's that's what innovation is yeah. yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. okay um i think it is time for us to get out of here as well 9:32 slot i think in conclusion cubase mm. uh we need to just to pay tribute yes to uh the late Jackson Kayewa. Mm. Mm. It's 10 years since he left us. Yes, it's been 10 Has years. Has that been more? Uh, it's 10 it years. Like it's mm. more. Yesterday marked yeah, uh, yesterday was 10 the 10 years. 10 years since Jackson Kayewa. We should have played some Jackson Kayewa music. We were drinking. <coughs> 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 no, it makes me nostalgic. Jackson is actually um, a very close family member mm. to myself. I remember growing up, he would tell us stories about. about uh, <sighs> about uh him and 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 also being part of plan but how he never carried a gun he always carried a guitar oh, so cool. then he would be like i would be sitting at the camp and you know the guys would go to the front line and, and then they yeah you know they go fight and then <laughs> things get a bit difficult <laughs> <laughs> we are ready for another fight yeah. to, yeah. it was such a fun character to have around yeah. me you he um when whenever i was Whenever he was performing on a night when I was hosting an event, yeah. he would always tell me, never, uh, please uh, tell that joke. Tell that joke of me. <laughs> 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 so, so I would always go on stage and, 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 and basically mimic him. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so Jackson would always come on stage. And, uh, you know, Jackson has been traveling all over the world. Mm. And you would see Jackson standing there in in Stockholm, in Sweden, on stage, yeah. and say, ah, <laughs> the next song I'm going to give you uh, yeah. hails all the way from uh, my country of birth, uh, Namibia. <laughs> it's a song uh, that I want to uh, uh, contribute hey, don't make to fun uh, of my uncle. a lady uh -huh. here. Her name is uh, Maria, <laughs> and in my country, the full meaning of this name is there's this one song and i keep on saying you know jelly bambus when you came back from exile <laughs> ne? this west african music that were we were pumped with west african music from 89 yondo sister and whatever we could only define namibian music through jackson kayewa mm. if jackson goes on stage and you hear mm. yeah. namibian you speak how many languages he's saying it's every so many, language every, language. every namibian language yeah. that's amazing rest in peace jackson mm. May your legacy yes, continue. Your legacy will live on. Kenny House Geek is saying I have that pick, Neville. But Ace, I'm afraid to upload it. Poamba's a picture. Load the pick, man. You won't disappear. Yeah. <laughs> this, James Mazoka, Dr. Kenny. Yes? Are you still practicing? Are you still at the... Uh, maybe we should... I thought you said a doctor, like he doctors things. No, no, he's a doctor. I like... Medical doctor. Oh. Yeah, medical doctor. Oh, okay. Unless I'm... Uh, yes, he's a medical doctor. Shop shop. Bye. We are waiting Love on Thursday. Don't forget Ahaba. at twelve o'clock you can catch uh today is what Thursday. You can catch Durkas. I'm not sure what he's gonna be talking about, but go check it out. Twelve to one on Infomante Radio's Facebook page. And also you can also keep coming back to Infomante for all your news updates. Infomante Radio. Infomante Radio. Radio is the best. Yeah. 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 Yeah.